Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here for our info session. I'm Galit from Yuhaifa International. With me today are my colleagues and friends, Vicky, Netta, Camila, and our student, Josh. And we're here to help you make your important decision about what to study for your international master's degree. Uh, we have lots to tell you about Yuhaifa International, but before we talk about who we are, Let's begin with where we are. So if this is planet Earth, then the small red triangle that you can see on the screen uh, is Israel. And although Israel is tiny in size, it has a multitude of unique qualities. And quality education is only the tip of the iceberg. Yes, of course, uh, quality education is indeed an important decision factor, but there are also more reasons to come to Israel. For example, Israel has an amazing, diverse, eclectic culture that brings together all religions of the world. It's called the startup nation because many groundbreaking technologies such as Waze, Discount Key, the electric car grid, and more were originated here. And we're literally the only country in the world where you can ski on the slope of Hermon Mountain and then jump in your car and within eight hours you can scuba dive in the Red Sea. And we're basically the only small country which has three seas, the Med, the Dead, and the Red. Uh, the food is absolutely amazing. It's inspired from all the cultures. Uh, the people, just like the sunny weather, are warm and welcoming most days of the year, and they make you feel at home really quick. And in the northern part of Israel, we have the city of Haifa, where we are. Uh, there's so much we can tell you about Haifa, but if we needed to describe Haifa and its university in one word, that would be multi-experience. We're the only city in the world where Jews, uh, Jews, Christians, Baha'i, Muslim, Druze, and immigrants from Ethiopia, Russia, and more uh, live side by side in peace and harmony. We're the only city with a panoramic ocean mountain and urban view combined. Uh, we're one of the only cities that incorporate iconic landmarks such as the Baha'i World Center that you can see on the screen, uh, side by side with state of the heart, the art high tech industry. And you can find many things to do in Haifa depending on your mood and on your vibe. You can either surf or chill on the beach, you can take a relaxing hike on Mount Carmel. Or if you feel like a night on the town, you can just stop by one of our many pubs and bars for a cold beer, whatever works for you. And on the top of Haifa, on the crest of Mount Carmel, is the beautiful University of Haifa campus. We are the largest globally renowned and recognized academic research institution in the North uh, with uh, uh, respectable rankings. We are the first in Israel to commit to the global sustainable development goals. Uh, and we have six faculties and some 18,000 18, undergraduate and graduate students each year coming from Israel and all around the world. Yuhaifa uh, International was established uh, back in 1975. Uh, since then, it has been a home to uh, 1,200 students each year coming from over 90 countries worldwide uh, for short-term undergraduate programs, language courses, and of course, our uh, diverse master's degree programs. So what we're offering you uh, in a nutshell, is to come to Israel for a once-in-a-lifetime experience where you will live in Haifa, go on trips to explore both the city and Israel, uh, study, of course, in English, and get your master's in just one year or in two years if you're taking the thesis track. Before we dive into the programs, let's talk a little bit about uh, an important topic these days, safety and security. 
We want you to know that Haifa is a safe city. And this year to date, it has definitely stood out as the safest, largest city in Israel. Uh, our university is ultra secure with guards and safe rooms all over campus. And you can walk around freely and at ease. And most important, we have gained uh, 50 years of experience in many complex situations, and we know how to address them with flexible solutions for our students. So this combo of safety, security, and flexibility is an integral part of our value proposition to you, and you can definitely trust us on this matter. This year we have uh, three special offerings that can help you pursue your studies. Uh, first, a hybrid learning mode so you can take your first semester from home. Uh, second, if you are currently studying for your master's in the US and prefer to come to Israel to graduate, we will recognize up to 10 US credits. And finally, if you apply now or until the end of next week, there is a typo here, okay? Um, and so it's uh, if you apply until uh, the end of this week, uh, you will get 75% off your application fee. Uh, don't mind the typo, okay? Uh, now let's check out our master's programs. So in the multi-business clusters, we have three very practical programs, two MBAs and one MSc. Each MBA offers a combination of core business courses and specialized courses. Uh, the MBA in technology management focuses on courses for those interested in a career in tech-oriented roles such as CTO or project management uh, or startups. And uh, MBA sustainability focuses on ESG related courses. ESG stands for environmental, social, and governance. Uh, this in, is an emerging field with high demand uh, for professionals. And the MSc, the Masters of Science, specializes in data science. And as you know, data is everything in this time and age. So this program can result in a very rewarding career. Let's move on. Uh, so if you're searching for a career in the public sector or an NGO, the School of Political Science offers you five different programs. Public Administration Management, this is a very high global ranking program. Peace and Conflict Management, this is an impressive program that uses a unique learning model. International Studies, a dual degree with the University of Warsaw. National Security, where you will have the opportunity to study uh, with the globally renowned strategist, Dr. Dan Shiftan and diplomacy studies. All of these programs are one year master's programs, except for the dual degree, which includes one year in Israel and one year in Warsaw, awarding you with a double degree in each university. Now, if you are more of an adventurous type and you want to study uh, outdoors, we have three great programs at the university's globally renowned School of Archaeology. It is the first of its kind to integrate the full scope of research uh, on land, at sea, and in the lab, all under one roof. Uh, so on land, you can study uh, archaeology, prehistorical archaeology. Underwater, you can study maritime civilizations and for a scientific approach to archaeology and joint research options with the Technion, the Israel School of Technology, we just launched a new program in archaeological sciences, which is two years, including a thesis. The school offers scholarships for eligible research students, and this also includes a $10,000 scholarship for three exceptional thesis track students. So you should definitely check this out if this interests you. Um, in the University School of Marine Sciences, we also have uh, two outdoor experiential learning programs, one in marine biology and one in marine geosciences, 
Both are two-year thesis track programs with scholarship, scholarship options for eligible students covering up to 75% of your tuition and a living stipend. And if you are passionate about making the world a better place, you should consider two impact for good programs we have here at UHIFA International, one in education and development in early childhood and the other in global public health. Both are one year programs and they address, they address health and education on global levels respectively. We also have four one year history related programs. Uh, we have Jewish history, Israel history, German and European studies, and Holocaust studies. Uh, these programs also offer attractive scholarships for eligible students. Jewish and Israel studies offer between 4,000 to 4,500 US dollars. German and European studies offer to cover up to 80% of tuition plus a living stipend. And Holocaust studies offer up to a full scholarship and living stipends for eligible students. Now, besides all the department and program scholarship options I pointed out, uh, we also have need-based scholarships based on your socioeconomic status and DEI scholarships. DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And these scholarships are for students who have volunteered or worked or are working at present uh, in uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. Uh, you can also find many other options on our website. Now, as uh, an international student, we want to give you the full experience of what Israel is all about so you can experience it firsthand. So you will get to travel around the city of Haifa and the country of Israel. You will explore sites. You will participate in Shabbat dinners. Uh, you will have parties, holidays, and events. And you will enjoy a fully rounded picture of our campus, city, and of course, country. Um, as an international student, you will receive priority for applying for dorms, and you can choose between two types of dormitories. We have Fetterman Apartments for three with a shared bathroom uh, and private bedroom for 410 US dollars a month, or you can choose Talia Apartments for six students with both a private bedroom and bathroom for 485 a month. And again, if you're an international student, you are prioritized for dorms admissions. Now, generally, uh, to apply to our master's programs, you will need a minimum 3.0 GPA uh, or 80 or B or equivalent in undergraduate classes full command of English, an official bachelor degree transcript and copy of undergraduate diploma, and a motivational letters uh, letter. Now, some programs have other requirements, and you can find them on our website. And Vicky from Admissions is here to answer any questions you have uh, on this matter uh, later on after we finish the presentation. Um, tuition is uh, $10,000 for an international student with an additional $275 payment for service fees, which brings you to a total of $10,275 US dollars and, of course, a mandatory health insurance, which is paid separately. The application process is very simple. Uh, you can uh, consult our student advisor, Camila, uh, or if you know what you're going to apply for, you can apply directly with your relevant documents. And after you're accepted and you secure your spot, you can apply 
for as many scholarships as you want, and of course, financial aid as much as needed. Our student advisor, Camila, is here for you every step of the way. And if you take out your smartphones and scan this QR code right now, you will be able to start talking with her on WhatsApp immediately. So I will give you a second to get out your phones and scan the code. Okay, just reminding you again of our special offerings this year, hybrid learning, recognition of up to 10 credits from current US master's students who want to graduate with us. And lastly, apply now or by the end of this week and get 75% off your application fee. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you have any questions, that just write them down in the chat and we will gladly answer. Let's just stop sharing this. Uh, and first, uh, before we uh, go to the q and I'd like to introduce our student, Josh, uh, who will say a few words about his personal experience. Josh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome to everyone who's looking into potentially studying at the University of Haifa. So I'm doing the master's degree in diplomacy. Um, and it's been a really rewarding experience. Um, I'm sure you get the sense of the diversity at Haifa University. And from my experience, that's what's made it so unique. I don't think you can find such diversity, certainly not anywhere else in the Middle East and possibly nowhere else in the world. Um, and you feel it very much on campus. You feel it very much in the classroom and you feel it very much part of your learning experience. And it's that diversity that for me has added so much to help me understand the very contrasting perspectives of uh, the different people that I'm able to meet and learn with. Um, you can even see this diversity in the different uh, programs that are on offer. So regardless of which course you're doing, you still get to benefit from that experience. Uh, I do think outside of the degree, it's been very rewarding living in Haifa and very enjoyable living in Haifa and essentially being part of the, the Haifa University family. So I really would describe it as a complete package, a period of time where you really get to learn in a very unique way and also obviously enjoy the opportunity to study in a place that you've possibly never been to before. Um, so I would really recommend it. And if there's any question that someone had for me personally, I would obviously be, be happy to share my thoughts even further. Thank you, Josh. Maybe you can tell them a little bit about uh, what what uh, you're studying and a little bit of your your uh, academic experience, your personal experience, your cultural experience uh, with reference to, to what you're studying. Sure. So I'm doing the master's degree in diplomacy. Um, I am very interested in politics. And what I've really liked about the degree is I, I talked about the diversity of where the people come from. And when it comes to a political issue, I think it's so important to have the opportunity to speak in a very comfortable setting about something that might be perceived as controversial, but in a more comfortable and secure way to really learn from other people. For example, I'll, I'll be in my class and I'll speak to someone from China, someone from Germany, someone from South America about a topic that maybe I've only spoken to people uh, who are very similar to me before. So it's the first time I've been able to really understand what someone on the other world will think about a political event. Uh, that's something that I think has been extremely rewarding for me. It's opened my mind up to the different uh, perspectives on, on current affairs, especially. And yeah, so I found that extremely stimulating. A lot of the projects that I'm doing are very relevant. Um, I'm doing a, a research program at the moment on basically the balance between interests internal interests of a country and the country's reputation and trying to balance the two. So being in an environment with people from all around the world really just adds value to my ability to, to elaborate 
on a topic that I personally find very interesting. So I've enjoyed the freedom to kind of explore my own path when it comes to the research and the assignments that I'm doing. And I've appreciated the environment that kind of supports me uh, while doing these these different research tasks and, and assignments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Josh. Okay, so we will move on uh, to questions and answers. Uh, we have uh, two questions here in the Q&A. Uh, Vicky will answer. Uh, the first question uh, is, in the list of requirements for MBA, you have completion of GMAT, GRE with a minimum grade that will be determined periodically. Uh, applicants with relevant academic background or professional experience can apply for a GMAT exemption. Uh, the question is, when should I apply for a GMAT exemption? Vicky. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, each application is individual, so you have to apply all the documents we have. And as soon as your application is forwarded to the academic committee, they will make their decision if to exempt you from the GMAT or not. And this is the best way. So just if you have all the rest, uh, all the required documents, just apply them, upload all of them. And at the later stage, it will be discussed in the video. Thank you. Another question. How serious is it to participate to a program while living abroad and being on the line regularly? It depends on the program you're applying to. Some of the programs um, will have the option of the hybrid mode of study. So you can study online at least for during the first semester. Again, it depends on the program you choose. Most of the programs will uh, have this option this year. Thank you. Another question is how about people who graduated not recently, but rather 10 years ago? Uh, let us just say that uh, our master's degree programs are open for everyone, regardless of when you graduated, of course. Um, another question, you mentioned scholarships for MA studies. Where can I get information about the scholarships for MBA studies? So as of uh, as of present, uh, with regards to the MBA studies, you can apply for need based scholarships, uh, for you Haifa need need based scholarships or DEI scholarships. And I would like to add that the option of scholarship um, is opening only after your official acceptance to the program. As soon as you officially accept it, you you have this option to apply for the scholarship in the full time. So if you're still in the process, you will not have this option. Okay. Uh, any more questions? I don't see any more in the chat. I don't see any more in the Q&A. Uh, if anyone has another question, now is the time to write it down and we will answer here. Okay. Here we have more questions. Uh, hi, please. What about someone who is not having a GBA of three? GPA of three? I think he meant GPA. GPA, yes. In order to be accepted to the, uh, any of uh, MA programs in the International School of the University of Haifa, the minimum GPA is three. If your GPA is lower, but let's say, 2.8 to 2.9, you still can apply and then the academic committee will uh, discuss and make their decision based on the overall application, not only on your uh, GPA. Thank you. Anyone else want to ask something? Can a senior retired professional study in one of your programs? Of course. We, as we said before, uh, we accept all students who have a bachelor's degree, uh, regardless of their age, of course. And we have uh, a variety of students uh, from a variety of ages, definitely. 
Uh, I would like to make to clarify one thing regarding the GPA. G uh, GPA uh, 3.0 is according to the American system. It depends on the country you're coming from. Some of the countries have a different scale. So we are talking about the GPA 3.0 uh, by the American system. Thank you, Vicky. Another question here is, hello, do I need a special code to access the 75 discount on application? No, you do not need a special code. It's uh, it generated automatically. So long as you uh, secure your application on time, you will receive automatically the 75% discount. Any other questions? Do you accept French people? Just a joke. We accept all students that have a bachelor's degree, uh, a 3.0 GPA, uh, and uh, of course, mastery of the English language because all the uh, study topics are in English. Any other questions? Okay, so thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you start chatting with Camila uh, on WhatsApp. Uh, remember to secure uh, your application by the end of the week for the 75% discount uh, and have a great day or evening depending on where you're coming from. Thank you, goodbye.